One of the most asked questions I get is why I don't use Unity. And if you've ever watched any of my videos before, you would know that I'm a pretty big fan of Godot. And I use it not only for 2D, but also 3D. But before I found Godot, I used all of the major game engines, like Unreal, Unity, Game Maker, even Construct. So I have a pretty good understanding on how they all work and which ones I like better than others. Now before we get started, please realize this is my personal opinion and you're probably going to disagree. In the end, a game engine is just a tool and nothing more. With that all out of the way, let's get started. So the first area I'd like to talk about is ease of use. Now, both Godot and Unity, in my opinion, kind of have steep learning curves. I remember the first time using Godot, I literally couldn't tell what I was doing. Godot has this node-based system where you can have a scene or an object can be a node. So your room is a node and your player is a node and everything in the player is a node and you have nodes upon nodes. It's very confusing and I don't think it's easy at first, especially if you're just getting started in game dev. Now, Unity was also a bit of a learning curve for me. The way that you have your scripts working through Visual Studio is kind of interesting, a little bit different from what I've seen. Most game engines actually let you script inside of it. So for this category, I'm gonna say it's a tie. They're both equally difficult to get into at first. You may disagree and that's completely fine. Now our second category is compatibility. When working on a game project, it's really important to make sure you're using an engine that supports the platform that you want to publish your game on, whether that be on the console, mobile devices, or even just on a computer. Compatibility is a major part of the game engine. Now I don't think anyone will be surprised, but Unity definitely takes the cake for this. Unity can literally be ported to any device, whether it's mobile, whether it's a computer, whether it's a console. Heck, I bet you, you could port something to a toaster. And it's probably your number one choice if you're really picking about where you want to export to. Now Godot can export to a lot of different platforms as well, just not as many, specifically when it comes to consoles. There are services you can do where you pay people and they port your game for you, but if you're just worried about porting your game to you know, Windows, Mac, Linux, then Godot is perfect. But Unity wins this category. The third category I'd like to talk about is price slash licensing. Now, if you're just getting started with a game engine or th this game dev journey in general, you can find it that using some software costs quite a bit of money. Engines like Game Maker and Construct either have yearly subscriptions or a pretty expensive license for you to use it. And if you want to export to another platform, that costs even more money. Now, the nice thing about Unity is it is free to use. There is a standard edition uh, that doesn't cost and you're able to do quite a bit with it. Unless your game makes over $100,000 that's when they want you to pay $400 a month or a thousand a month to pay for the license. It makes sense if you're making that much money and you could probably afford that, but still it does cost and that's something you should think about. Now Godot on the other hand is completely free. Literally, you don't even have to say that you're using Godot. The only thing you can't do is say that you made the engine yourself, but because it's open source, you don't have to worry about paying money. So if you like money and you like saving your money, even after you make $100,000 on your game, then Godot is the right engine for you. And that's why Godot wins the price category. Number four is learning resources. Now here's where Godot starts to fall apart a little bit. Even though the engine's well documented and there are amazing channels like Heartbeast and GD Quest that are creating fantastic tutorial series, there just isn't the same amount of support and learning materials as Unity has. It's almost overwhelming how many tutorials there are for Unity, but it makes it really easy if you want to try to create a specific type of game and you're trying to stumble your way through and just learn about it, your best bet is probably to go with Unity because most most likely someone has made a video on it and that can explain it really well. Now Godot, even though it does have resources, it is more of an engine where you have to kind of dig into the manual and read up on things. Things aren't always fully explained and part of that is because it is an open source project and you don't have as big of a team working on it compared to Unity. And because I would say Unity is a little bit more friendly towards new developers and definitely something you should keep in mind and it's why Unity wins this category. Number five is quality slash support. Now you may think this goes in hand with the learning resources, but it's a little bit different. Quality comes down to the game engine itself. What's the development support look like? Is the company constantly working to improve the engine and listen to its users, or is it just kind of doing its own thing? Now get ready, you're gonna be really mad because Godot takes the win. And the reason being is because Godot is an open source engine, it is primarily funded by donations or Patreon supporters. 
servers, meaning that users directly get to influence the features and improvements the engine gets. For example, Godot's tileset system is actually pretty rough. It's pretty bad and people have complained about it for a long time, but because of the users supporting Godot, they actually just hired someone full time just to work on the tileset editor. You don't really see that in other engines like Unity or Unreal or Construct, where normally they're so focused on what they want to push with the engine instead of what the users actually want. Another example for Godot is the 3D engine. People talk about how it's missing some stuff and it's not as good as Unity, and that's true. But in the latest version of Godot, they're actually working to revamp using a Vulkan render engine instead of OpenGL. And that's such a great feeling to have a direct line of communication for the developers of the game engine that you're using. Now, one last thing I would like to say about Unity, it is a fantastic piece of software, but I noticed that because it has so many features, that it, it tends to get bloated and has issues all the time. I've opened up projects before and had errors for doing nothing, literally opening up a project. I've opened up projects before that have completely corrupted as well. So I'm not sure if that was just my machine or my personal experience, but every time I use Unity, I find that my files never stay fully intact or something's breaking, unlike Adele. There's other stuff I would like to talk about, maybe in a future video, for example, the languages that both engines use or the type of graphical support for 3D or 2D. Like I said before, both engines are fantastic and it really comes down to preference. Even in one area where one engine does better than the other, they're still very close. And if you personally like using C Sharp with Unity instead of using GD Script with Godot or the 2D or 3D, whatever it is, that's perfectly fine and you should use the engine that you feel the most comfortable with. Also, shout out to Cosman Dev and the other Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing and your support helps me make videos more frequently and I just appreciate it so much. If you have any thoughts on your game engine, what you like about it, what you don't, maybe it's Scratch, maybe it's Godot, maybe it's Unreal, who knows? Then please leave a comment down below. I love reading what you guys have to say. It's always interesting and I learn from it all the time. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. I love making these types of videos, and if you'd like to see more of these, then please let me know as well. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time for a devlog adventure.